So this is the very first cake that I made. So I just um, added a generous amount of chocolate syrup on top. You can also use chocolate frosting if that's what you prefer. Uh, I use my DIY chocolate syrup here. If you're interested, the link is on the description box. And then I added miniature colorful marshmallows on top. And then I gave it as a gift for my cousin's birthday. I don't have a bag at that time, so I just remember a post from Pinterest that you can actually use a uh, paper plate and plastic to pack your cake. And then I just added ribbon and the birthday tag. So this cake I made for my mom's birthday. So I used chocolate frosting here and the uh, flower marshmallow so i'm not gonna explain in details how i designed it because you can see it from the photo how i arranged the flower so no need to explain it further so this time i decided to use plastic plate instead of paper plate because it's more sturdy So this cake I made for myself for my birthday. So I used chocolate frosting here and then I filled the sides with a flower marshmallows. And then I also added brown or chocolate sprinkles on top. I made this cake for my mom's friend and our neighbor. I poured in some chocolate syrup on top and added colorful sprinkles and miniature marshmallows. And then I bought this happy birthday candle holder from Daiso Japan. I think you can also buy this at um, Japan Home Center for only 88 pesos. So you can reuse that over and over again. You just have to wash it. And there is also free birthday cake um, candles so i made this cake for the holiday we celebrated our holiday at my grandmother's house so i just added chocolate frosting on my cake and then um add some candy rock on the side so this candy rock is actually a chocolate so it is similar to m m and knits So this I made for my uncle's birthday. It is a brownie, not a cake. So I just poured in some chocolate syrup on top and fill, fill it with chopped nuts. And then again, I reused my happy birthday candle holder. So this cake I made for my best friend's birthday and it is also Valentine's Day. So I decided to use um, heart-shaped marshmallow and sprinkles. So I poured in some chocolate syrup first before I arranged my marshmallows. And uh, I wasn't able to get her picture because that day is also her father's week. So, you know, it is also a sad moment for her. So that's it. And these cupcakes I made for my cousin's birthday. So I just poured in chocolate syrup and then added heart sprinkles and colorful sprinkles on top. So this I made for my sister's birthday. Again, I uh, used chocolate frosting and then i added sprinkles only on the side so i used two types of sprinkles i used the colorful and heart shaped sprinkles and uh, i reused my happy birthday candle holder and this i made for myself so i made a coil or spiral using um, rock candy and then I bought a happy birthday candles You can actually replace the rock candy with nips or M&M
And this I made for my dad. Um, I actually used a cookie cutter for the design. So I just placed the cookie cutter where I want it to be placed. And then I filled the inside with uh, sprinkles. Then again, I reused the happy birthday um, candy hold, candle hold. And lastly, I made this cake for my grandmother's birthday. I called it a uh, garden theme cake. So to make the flower higher, I used to pick and I also um, added um, butterfly sprinkle over the flowers. So to attach, I just added a little bit of um, chocolate frosting. 